Slave Children's Crusade. Now that's the kind of music Zeus listens to. Anyway, Kef R300s. Um, I want to try to make this a short review. So they are better than Alex 50s. Thank you for joining. Good night. We'll make a fucking sandwich now. Ah, all right. I'll go into a little more detail. Kef. The history of Kef with me. I don't like Kef at audio shows. They bring out those Kef blades. The Kef blades basically have one of these in the front and then like 19 drivers in the side and they just don't fill a room. And every time I've gone into a Kef room, it's like, eh, don't do it. Kef Q100 show up, the little baby ones. The little, little baby ones. And they are fucking amazing. And amazing on a desk. Then I got the LS50s. So I went from, <laughs> I went from Q100s to LS50s, which is like, Going from a used mm, automatic, you know, Honda Civic from like 2006 to fucking Ferrari 458. It's like, oh, gah. Then I went a little backwards, went to the Q350s, which should be the newer, bigger version of the Q100s. And it was sort of like, eh, yes, but there's just, they're not as easy to live with. And oh, so it was a step back. And now the R300s. And just like the LS50s, these are over a grand a pair. Um, they're expensive. These are expensive. These may be the most expensive bookshelves I've ever looked at. And the speakers I'm going to compare them to are not other Kefs. There'll be a little bit of the Bucarts. Little baby, baby Buc Bucart S300s. We'll talk about them a little bit. The Yamo C103s, because I think, frankly, as cheap as people were getting those Yamos, um, they were worth $1,000. And the SVS Ultras, those are the big ones. Those are the big ones. We're not going to talk about these. Ignore those for a bit. Even though those are a three-way, and these are a three-way. If you don't know what a three-way is, that's when uh, your mom and your grandmom and a goat... Different type of three-way. My bad. I think six inch, six and a half inch. I don't know. It's a strange low end driver. And then mid range and tweeter. So where the LS 50s basically just had this and just this, and they were getting bass out of just that. And that it was like, oh, this is all you got to work with. Um, this takes that and says, okay, no, no, you just worry about, you know, mid range and travel and we'll deal with the bass down here. And that is why in a living room, these are better than LS 50s. Why are they better than LS 50s on a desk? Are they? I just had them on the desk. I just took them off the desk and brought them out here. Because I had to remember. I know how good they are out here. And, I brought, and just, they're a little bit... Mm, I don't think you need that base driver on a desk. But let me say that it doesn't hurt. It doesn't hurt. So you get these on out here in my living room. And I put them on. And now I'm thinking about SVS Ultras, because they're $1,000 a pair, and these are a little bit more than $1,000 a pair. And the, the thing that was missing on LS 50s that prevented me from saying these are the best speakers I've heard ever, period, was you, you, when you put them up, you found that end, that limit of like, oh shit, that's only a five and a quarter trying to make all this sound, and it can't handle it. When you break it up into three drivers now, you got a six and a half doing loudy loud things and this is just for vocal clarity and then you get the tweeter and it's doing this coaxial thing that gives you a wall of sound presentation just like the LS50 did and then you realize oh that's why these are better than LS50s whoa right now there's no subwoofers on by the way I didn't plug the ports the ports come with a weird staggered port plug it's a foam ring and then a foam plug that goes in the foam ring so you could pour it a little bit or a lot and i just don't i just fucking open it also has covers there's also um um speaker grills and i didn't even take them out of the box they're in the box the fuck are you fucking crazy no no now here's another thing the ls50s sounded amazing but these ls50s were a fucking piece of art they had the arch and the shape and the finish and the soft port when i fingered the port this is a hard port when i finger this port it's rubberized but it's still a hard port that thing was like i stared at the, the glistening of the paint and this is a white box there's no way around it boys and girls it's a white box 
there is a black version, or at least a gray version, or maybe there's a rosewood version too. There's other colors, but it's it's this is not an inspiring shape. Like, ooh, they stuck a calf thing on the top, and it goes over the front too. Brilliant art claps, little little tiny like like gallery claps. So, calf has managed to make these rather boxy looking boxes still beautiful because um literally machined. <laughs> Nothing machined aluminum cannot fix, or is this stainless steel? I don't know. But you've got a, um, a surroundless driver down here. This is like titanium. I don't want to guess the materials and get it wrong. But there's also reversed uh, surround here. So you just get like this, this ring of rubber, and then you get that beautiful shape. And oh, they're still so pretty. They're still so pretty. This is like a box van, and you go and you go, oh my god, look at that box van. It's so pretty. So, a little bit of a hit from the Alessotis, but they're not, you know, they're not ugly. I've reviewed ugly speakers before. Bruce Springsteen. We should talk about how they image and how the bass reproduction is crazy and how they can get fucking loud. And it's the middle of the day and businesses. I live above and that's brick. And that's businesses, and they are, it's very quiet down there, and they can hear everything I'm doing up here. Probably hear me talking to myself, and they definitely hear when I put tool on. Oh, that's so loud, you can't imagine. I should not be doing this review now during the day, but I really, I really want to get this fucking review done. So, R300s, are they worth a thousand plus dollars? Yes. Some people say they're not. So it's like, oh no, get the LS50s anyway. And it's just like, ah, but no. I mean, if I disconnect here in the back and I should look at the back of one of these. Port, five-way bindings, dual five-way bindings, and then the link controls, which are metal. What is it, the Q100s that did that? Might have been the Q100s that had this also, but not with metal controls. We just unscrew these and now you've completely disconnected the top and bottom. And what that means is that now, since these are plugged into the top and not the bottom, all that will work on this speaker is this part of it. So. Still a lot of low one coming from over here. Let's disconnect one of these. Should only really need to disconnect one for this particular type of test. Ah, there you go. So if you want to get a portal radio, what you do is you buy a pair of these, you throw one in the garbage and you unscrew those things, and you have the portal radio. It doesn't sound very good with just this. As amazing as that is, and as I said, oh this is what the LS50 had, the LS50 just had this. Um, they've offloaded a shit ton of stuff down there. Otherwise what you'd be hearing right now is LS50's that's it. This. Amber Ruberth is on. Alright, let's screw you back in for Amber. I'm gonna screw in these calves. I'm gonna screw them good. Alright. Yeah, so let's see. What have we discussed? Their price, they're expensive. But it, another thing is do you smile when you listen to speakers? Because. A smile is worth a thousand dollars at least. That sounds like something Bose would sell sell you. Not Beats, they're not expensive enough. Bose, certainly those high-end cable companies. Is a smile not worth a thousand dollars per interconnect? Oh, fuck no, it ain't. How many lap dances I get for a thousand dollars? God damn it! Wait, I was. You can't hear this in stereo because the GoPro I'm using is only mono, which, too bad. It's a really good mono, but it's only mono. And um, I want to, I want to, I want to put these like above the boot carts. I do. I haven't pulled down my S300s in a while, but I mean, just the sheer fucking force of the imaging, which. 
I had these up when I reviewed the Fluid Audios. Those on the left. The ones there that have the coaxial AMT. And I was not directly comparing them because it's a coaxial there and this is a coaxial, but it's not really a coaxial. And I basically said the fluids force you to hear everything wrong with your music. This is what's wrong with your music. Fucking listen to it. Where these don't get nearly that in your face. I could put on almost any music and just listen to it. Just relax. On a desk, it's a different story. On a desk, these can be a little bit intense. Whereas the LS50s were just fucking flawless. On the desk, you, you sort of you sort of realize that there's a lot of tweeter coming out of there, man. It's fucking calm yourself, bro. The dude must abide. And these are not a dude abiding. I'd still take LS50s over these on a desk. I've determined that now. I've, I've finalized my thoughts. They're smaller, they're lighter. Do you know what these fucking weigh? Do you have a clue what these weigh, all right? You wanna talk about build quality and what's going into a speaker? The Yamo uh, C103s, those big bastards there, the ones that I sold in the yard sale. Box of those pair 52 pounds a box. So the whole box is 52 pounds. Uh, I get this box delivered here. It's 66 pounds for the pair. Fucking 14 pounds. That's seven pounds a speaker heavier than Yamaha C103s. I'm, I don't fully trust the lids of my ohms to like hold them, but they're doing it. Because Brooklyn, that's fucking why. Anyway, so we've got these, I'm gonna assume the box weighs six pounds, so they're like 28 pound a piece, 30 pound a piece fucking speakers that sound like it. That's the best way I can describe it. They're just the, that low end driver. This is, requ this is required for a big room. If you don't have this, if you got just the LS50s, you can incorporate a sub or two or three, or in my case, three, five. One, two, three, four, five, six subwoofers in my room, but those aren't hooked up, so that doesn't count. There just is six subwoofers in view right now. Just want to point that out, because people seem to forget that Zeos is doing reviews. Are they worth $1,300? Yes. Are they pretty enough to be $1,300? Yes, because I've seen expensive speakers that are not as pretty. How do they sound, Zeos? You keep ignoring the sound. I'm telling you how they fucking sound. If you don't know what LS50s sound like, well, you should probably watch that review and then this review. But these are the best kefs I've heard. LS50s, on a desk, they're, a li they're, they're almost designed for a desk. The self-powered versions of the LS50s are probably fucking tits. Because once you go self-powered, then you take away the job of a crossover in here that's massive components, and then my amplifier, how is that doing? Then you gotta split it up and break up power. So a self-powered LS50 is probably as good as anyone ever needs on a, on a surface, on a desk surface. But out here in a room, a big room, this is not that small room, it's 15 feet this way, it's 18 feet this way, I can sit this far away. If I want to be impressed, this is now the bare minimum. It's not the maximum, I've had maximum, but this is fucking right at the line of like, oh yeah, I'm satisfied with this. And like I said, they don't, they don't offend. They don't make your music so harsh that it just, oh, I can't stand listening to it. There were some tracks I literally could not listen to on, on the fluids. And there were definitely some tracks I couldn't listen to with the Q350s. My boot carts, mm, those do some magic shit. These do some magic shit. Some calming, relaxing, gentle magic shit. Quote of the year. You hear how gentle that like piano is? It's just like a finite angel hair piano playing just like there. And then if you walk back here, you still hear it. I, I was fucking four inches away from it. I was like, ooh. And now I'm back here and it's still like, ooh. That's hard to get out of a speaker. Usually the only speakers that do that are like the crazy um, cone 
fucking wave guy JBLs or calf. Okay, JBLs are clips. My bad, not calf. I'm talking about calf. But this is still doing it. It is. They really got this waveguide slash mid range to to bring that sound all the way to you, and just just butter you up with it. I would absolutely call these end game speakers for some people. You're, you're done. You got these. You build up your money. Get a f start like I did. I was perfectly happy and poor with Dayton B652s. And then Micahs came out, MB42Xs. And I'm like, oh, these are a little bit better. They have a little more tonality to them. And they warmth and uh, ported. And then I moved. I don't remember where I moved from there. Someone wants to go back in my history and give me the list of, of my favorite speakers in a row. Go for it. L uh, there were those TAC LS65, LH65Bs. Those are in my bedroom. Those are hooked up to my goddamn Dreamcast. There was a fucking, I had a good, here's the thing. I, Zeos Pantera, the runner of this YouTube channel with 100,000 subscribers that does speakers, have a, had a good natural progression of speakers. And that's great for me. It should be what everyone goes through, but unfortunately, some of you have heard nothing and then you're gonna buy these. And then all that wonderful progression that I went through for years and months and years and years and months um, is wasted. You're just gonna go from nothing to this. From like no hand jobs to the greatest fucking hand job. And then what's left? It's just mediocre hand jobs in between, unless you start looking at like forty, fifty thousand dollar hand jobs. Which uh, I hate doing that to people. My suggestion is um, if you are just starting out, if you just wanna get a pair of speakers, do not start here. Don't save your money. Uh, spend your money on other things cars and women and, and women with hand jobs. Just spend it on other things. And buy just good entry. Buy the Q100s. Buy the Q100s. And when you're bored of those in two, three years, there'll be something else that's a little bit better. The Klipsch RP160Ms. RP150Ms. Move up. Then move slowly up. And then drop your remote. And then go down and get it. And then spin and like boom. And then you just keep moving up and end on this. Because there's no way you're going to start your audiophile career buy a set of these and then just be happy and then you're done buying you have to go through the motions you have to i should do a whole video on this subject on not i don't give a shit how rich you are i don't care if you won the lottery you, you've got to you got to earn it you've got to earn the respect to get up to this sort of level because there's a lot of engineering in there there's a lot of things i'm listening to that i'm like wow that's very very unique i've heard 30 pairs of speakers in this room, and that's the one that does this the best. Perfect. Like this, this is like perfect music. This is Nightmare Before Christmas, by the way. Dr. Finkelstein in the Forest. It's just... They scream for this shit. They want this shit. This is that shit they play at Audiophile shit. And the shit comes on, it's like, yeah, it's so fucking good, man. And then you can rock out, Book of Mormon. Sublime, get ready. And it performs. It just says, okay, switching to Sublime, get ready. People ask me all the time, um, I listen to this genre, what speakers should I get? And I don't know how to answer them because what speakers you should get should be good speakers. The best speakers you can afford and that work in your room. As long as you're not going from nothing to these. But I mean, yeah, D don't ask me what... The only speakers you shouldn't get are ones that are very picky about source. I it's very hard to recommend them. Like the, like the goddamn, well, I'll keep talking about the fluids. The fluids were just, if you know what you want, if you want everything all the time now, fluids are it. If you want to just be coddled and sort of like, hey, give me speakers that make my music sound fucking good. Here you go. Kef R300s. Are there higher models than this? Of course there are. This is fucking the world of speakers and headphones and shit. There's always a higher model. Will the higher model be better? I don't know. Because I need to spend the amount of time I do with these and just sit on my couch and go, do I want to hear this? I 
I have no idea what that is. That's from the Anime Orchestra. There's no summer front. There's no sub on. There's nothing, there's no magic tricks. The mini DSP is at the flat. Just they're good speakers. And they're absolutely thousand dollar speakers. If I took a $600 pair off the wall and put it here, I'd be like, ooh. Yeah. Unless there's a $600 pair up there that looks like a, that works like a thousand dollar pair. Which, let me think which ones are those. Probably the uh, Biggie Motivas. Oh, the Yamos, if you want to count them as $600 speakers. Yeah. Ooh. Um, yeah, no, I'm done. Sound demo in the description. I can't pimp these anymore. I don't want to pimp them so hard that it feels like it's not honest. These are amazing speakers. And they're expensive speakers. And they're pretty regardless of being a box. And what else do you need to know? Will I be sad to see them go? A little bit. If I had to have a set of LS50s of these, which ones would I rather have? I'd probably take LS50s only because, only because, I'd put them on my desk. I would use LS50s on my desk. I'd go here instead of these Atom Audios, which these Atoms are amazing, by the way. I'd put them there. Cheech Marin? That's a fat Cheech Marin. I, I'd put them there, and I would, I don't want to keep these out here because I know that I can, I have ohms. There's always something more that I, I personally can have, and I always want to change up. I think the LS50 is just because how fucking pretty they were. I'd love to try. If you have a set of the powered LS50s, by the way, and you're willing to ship them to me, find out how to contact me. Until then, uh, thank you for watching. I hope I've gone into enough. Efficiency, by the way, the last thing I didn't t touch on, they're, eh, they could use some power. They're not the, the easiest things. I'm sure like a 100 watt uh, AVR will push them just fine. But if you're, if you're spending this sort of money on speakers and you're, you're putting more than 50% into music, you may want to think about a dedicated speaker amp, something nice and clean and low THD, and then mm, give them what they deserve. Anyway, links to these in the description. Links to these in the description. Links to all the good kefs. How about this? The Q100s, these. It's good starting like a little, maybe a little baby starting lineup of what you should go and get. If you haven't had heard the lowest end kefs, don't buy these. Get those first and move up. Uh, link to the Patreon, which I do yard sales, and that's all stuff for yard sales. Well, except for the R300 box, but that's yard sale stuff that's going on this month. If you want to bid on things like that or see these reviews way early, um, that's what you join that for. Also, I answer all your questions because you're paying me to answer your questions. Review, that link is up in the upper right-hand corner or down there. And the wallpaper. Oh, the fucking wallpaper. Isn't it adorable? Isn't it just classy? This is it cla- This is all cla- White gloves! You need the white gloves to touch the speakers and the classiness of it all. Right? I feel unworthy. I feel like I need to vacuum again. Where's my Neo Bot back? Vacuum again, because the speakers are out. Alright, also check the sound, just sound demo in the description. Um, so you can get sort of an idea. The way the sound demos work, because no one ever watches those and no everyone always asks what's the point of these, is you compare them against other sound demos I've done. Even if the music changes, you get an idea of how things sound. If there's too much treble, if there's too much bass, if they're wonky. So enjoy that. And uh, goodbye, and I'll talk to you all later.